What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another Police Academy tutorial. Today I promise you guys we're not installing any more callouts. Today we are going... <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Today we're going to be installing our siren into our police car. So this is exciting. Um, the siren that I use, the Willem 295 that everybody asked me about. Uh, that's the one we're going to be installing. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and click the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page right here, the Willen 295. This is made by THP Studio. Big, big shout out to THP Studio as I have been using the Willen 295 for I know at least the last probably year and a half, two years in my game. And I absolutely love this siren. It's actually hard for me to find a siren that tops this and because it's so loud and it's so bold and that bullhorn is just on the money uh but big shout out to hp studio for your time and creativity in the lsp for our community man we really do appreciate it guys and girls what you want to do is click download the file here and you want the main file right there that's the one you want click download and put this somewhere where you know how to get to it i do recommend your desktop now once we get to our desktop you are going to need open iv along with a mods folder and all of your patch days now if you do not have open iv okay I will leave a link right here in the top right corner of the screen. A black box will pop up. Now, that will show you how to install OpenIV, but when you go to that video, be sure that you read the pinned comment because the link that's in my description of that video is no longer valid. You cannot download OpenIV from that website. But I do have a link in the pinned comment of that video that takes you to another site where you can install the same version of OpenIV, which is 4.1. So with that said, for those that are ready to go, go ahead and open up your OpenIV. Guys, go watch that video. If you don't have OpenIV, come back, and then you can watch this video with me, and we can install our siren together. You want Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? There's a certain pathway that we have to go uh, when we do this. Now, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that your edit mode is turned on right there, okay? That edit mode needs to be in blue, all right? Make sure that's on. Uh, once that's done, uh, we're going to need to create a folder on our desktop, okay? Before we go anywhere else, let's create a folder on our desktop. So go to your desktop, right-click, click New, and click Folder, and you just want to name this, um, we'll name it OS for Original Siren, okay? And we're going to drag this over here underneath our recycle bin. Now, in your OpenIV, okay, you want to go to Mods. Then you want to go to Time64, Audio, SFX, and then scroll down until you get to this resident.rpf right here, okay? Once you've got it, highlight it and then double click it, okay? And then in here, we're going to be working with this vehicles.awc. That's the file we're going to be working with. All right, so while we're in here, um, what you want to do is highlight that vehicles.awc and then you want to go down here in this area and you want to right click and click, um, I'm sorry, highlight it again, right click on it and click export to open format. So again, guys, highlight it, make sure you're on it, right click and then click export to open formats.oac. Click that. And you want to find that folder that we just created for our desktop, the original Siren, okay? The OS folder. Uh, click your desktop right here. It'll pull up that folder. Open up your original Siren folder that will be empty. Once you got it open, go ahead and click Select Folder. It's now going to extract. Because if you go over a certain amount of kilobytes, which I think is 17 kilobytes, uh, your Siren will not work and your game will probably be very unstable, okay? Uh, so with that said and with that out of the way now what we're gonna do next is We're just gonna minimize stay in this pathway guys do not leave this pathway as a matter of fact go ahead and click favorites Click add to favorites and click add okay uh, You're gonna want to add this pathway because you're gonna use it more than once I promise uh, Now go ahead and minimize your open IV don't close it just minimize it and then let's open up our Willen 295 WinRAR And what you want to do guys is you want to grab this photo right here inside your WinRAR and you want to drag it to your desktop and drop it just like that Okay, close out of this and get rid of that shortcut now. Let's pull up our open IV again Again the vehicles AWC guys go up here to new go to new in your open IV click new and click import open formats click on that again click your desktop okay and then you want to click on that Willen 295 folder open it up 
double click on the Willen 295 folder again right there. Once you have this open, click the vehicles.oac one time, click it once, and you will see it down here in your file name, okay? Once you've got that vehicles.oac in there, go ahead and click open. You're gonna get this window, click okay. We're done, all right? Go ahead and go to file and click close all the archives, okay? And then we're gonna close out of this and make sure that you keep this original siren on your folder in case you have to reinstall it for any reason or i mean keep it on your desktop in case you have to install it, reinstall it for any reason if you don't like the siren or you just want to reinstall your default siren it's there put it somewhere uh safe and for the wheel 295 file right here guys we can throw this into our recycle bin as always ladies and gentlemen clean out your recycle bin it's important to keep it cleaned out it really is all right with that said I'm going to take you on a game and show you how this how this works and how it sounds. So I'll see you all inside of LSP. All right, guys. So once we are in the game, uh, keep in mind when you run your sirens, you do have to be stage three lighting. Um, so in other words, you have to be in this stage right here, okay? Uh, now, uh, if you... Um, one through six is going to be your sirens uh, for keyboard users. Um, so if you go like this... Okay, that's gonna be one on top of the keyboard, then two, then three, then four, then five. All right, now six is your dual siren, right? So if you hit one, and then you hit six, that activates dual sirens. You can change your sounds by uh, two through four, so like this. Or if you want to run through them and cycle through them like this, hit the five. All right, now for controller users, um, your siren is going to be down and up on your D-pad. So for your main siren, you're going to go down on your D-pad. Okay. And then to change the sound of it, you're going to hit the B on your controller. Right. Now, unfortunately, controller users do not have the option to hit the button to cycle through your siren. So if you want to cycle through your sirens, you'll have to hit down your D-pad, then hit 5 on the keyboard. And that will cycle through everything. Alright, so dual sirens for controller users is going to be down on your D-pad and then up. So like this. Down your D-pad. Wait a minute, let me change that. Okay, down your D-pad, then up. And then if you want to honk your horn, uh, you're gonna you're gonna uh, push in on your left thumbstick and click it, just like that. All right, and for for keyboard users, I'm sure you guys know uh, the R key. The E is your is your horn. Okay, R will be your manual. Or T and Y. And if you hit the R with the E, you'll get that sound right there, okay? Alright, so for controller users, if you hit the B, if you tap the B, that's gonna be your manual. Now, if you tap the B, if you hold down the B and uh, push it on your left thumbstick, you're gonna get this sound. Alright. Or, you can do it opposite and hold the horn. Like that. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. There's the wheel in 295. This is more or less what it sounds like. Like I said, guys, it's really loud. It's very bold. Um, and that bull horn is what I love, I think, the most. I love that bullhorn, man. I love it. Uh, that's it, guys and girls. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click on so you never miss any future content or live streams. With that being said, guys and girls, until next time, stay safe, stay awesome. God bless you all. And be humble. I'll see you all in the next video.